beautiful works of art on display all this month inside the Ola Latina at the Emporium in downtown Knoxville. As Emily DeVoe tells us, they're part of a scholarship competition for young artists, and your visit could help determine a winner. For me with art, I feel like it gives me like a creative like freedom. When you are working like on paper or anything, you kind of dive into this like headspace and it allows you to breathe. Like you don't need to think too much. Rebecca Ortiz and Abigail Jones are two of the students vying for the Astrid Galindo Art Scholarship at Ola Ora Latina. This art scholarship will allow me to get more art supplies and to also just broaden my variety of my types of art that I want to do. Named after the Mexican-American artist who passed away in 2019. She um, served as a consul for the Mexican Foreign Service for the majority of her career, and so um, was able to live in almost every single continent in all these different countries and um, exhibit her works there with um, you know, all these international artists. The scholarship celebrates other young artists who hope to follow in Galindo's footsteps. I most admire like how she went all around the world to like get different inspirations from different places. The winner is chosen by people who visit the gallery or vote online. If um, one of us were to win the scholarship, it would mean a lot because it would mean that the community chose us and that they liked our art so much that they believed in us. So I feel like there's a deeper message that like other people want us to succeed. This is only the second year for the scholarship and interest is already growing. We were just blown away. Um, we were able to squeeze in every submission that we did get. Um, and we really weren't expecting um, such a high caliber um, group of group of young students. Young students who hope to use the scholarship to continue their art, whether it's a hobby. Art has the role of like also kind of like stress relieving. Or as a profession. My goal is to potentially be a freelancer or a concept artist for animation studios, especially those that work on animated movies. I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. Incredible talent you have until June 2nd to go online and vote for your favorite artist.